Welcome to our video about 10 fish that have worms and parasites. If you're a fan of seafood, you might want to listen up. While fish is generally considered a healthy and delicious food option, it's important to be aware of the risks associated with consuming fish that are infected with worms or parasites. In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at some of the most common fish that are known to carry these unwelcome hitchhikers. But be warned, what you see might make you think twice about what's on your plate. Without further ado, let's start our countdown with Number 1. Salmon Salmon can be affected by different types of worms and parasites, such as roundworms and tapeworms. Even though these parasites are normally harmless to people, if prepared properly, there is still a possibility of having negative health effects from eating infected fish. An article from the Food Control magazine in 2020 reported that consuming raw or undercooked infected salmon that contained Diphilobothrium tapeworms might lead to abdominal pains, vomiting, and diarrhea. The study suggests that people that frequently eat raw or undercooked fish should get tested for tapeworm infection. A study released in 2022 by Parasites and Vectors suggested that consuming salmon infested with the Pseudoturanova roundworm could increase one's chances of developing cardiovascular disease. It was further recommended that those who regularly eat raw or insufficiently cooked salmon should be evaluated for cardiovascular risks. Therefore, while it is safe to consume infected salmon when cooked properly, caution should be exercised for those who consume it raw or undercooked. Next, number two, tilapia. Tilapia is a widely farmed fish species due to its robust nature and rapid growth rate. Nevertheless, similar to other fish species, it can be susceptible to worms and parasites which can be hazardous to human health if it is not processed and cooked correctly. The consequences of consuming tilapia that is infected with worms and parasites can be gastrointestinal distress such as abdominal pain, diarrhea, and nausea. In extreme cases, this can result in more serious complications such as damage to the liver, anemia, and even death. Recently, scientists have uncovered more evidence about the dangers of consuming tilapia containing worms and parasites. A few examples of such studies include a study conducted in 2021 and published in Food Control, where researchers in Nigeria checked tilapia acquired from both farms and markets for any parasites. To their surprise, they found as much as 85% of the fish had one or more types of parasites, including nematodes and cestodes. Thus, the researchers suggested that people should make sure they cook tilapia properly to avoid potential infection. A research paper published in Aquaculture Reports in 2019 investigated the risks of consuming tilapia carrying the parasite Ichthyophereus multifilius, which leads to a condition called itch in fish. The investigators discovered that the parasite can survive in cooked tilapia up to 24 hours, hence it is important to be vigilant while preparing and cooking the fish in order to prevent infection. Therefore, although tilapia is a healthy and popular fish, it is essential to be aware of the potential dangers of eating contaminated fish. To decrease the risk of infection, make sure to cook tilapia properly before consuming. Next, number three, sardines. Sardines are a popular type of seafood that is loaded with omega-3 fatty acids, protein, and numerous vitamins and minerals. Unfortunately, sardines can contain parasites such as anisakis worms, which can cause a sickness known as anisakiasis. Symptoms of anisakiasis include abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, and in some cases the worm can even penetrate the intestinal wall and lead to a serious infection. To protect against anisakiasis and other parasitic infections, it is important to properly prepare and cook sardines, such as by freezing the fish before cooking it, which can kill any worms or parasites present. In a 2020 article in the Journal of Food Protection, scientists examined 54 samples of sardines to determine if they contained anisakis worms. Results showed that 31% of samples tested positive for the parasite indicating the need for proper cooking and handling. In 2021, the International Journal of Food Microbiology published a study which focused on the efficiency of freezing sardines to deactivate Anisaki's worms. The research established that freezing at minus 20 degrees Celsius for at least 48 hours was successful in killing the worms. 
Therefore, while sardines are a nutritious option, it is important to take measures to protect oneself from parasitic infections. One way of doing this is to freeze the fish prior to cooking it and ensure it is cooked properly. Next, number four, pollock. It is important to be aware that pollock, like many other types of fish, can contain parasites such as roundworms and tapeworms, which can cause health problems if the fish is not cooked correctly. Recent research published in the Journal of Food Protection in 2021 suggested that freezing pollock at temperatures of minus 20 degrees Celsius for 24 hours was found to be effective in decreasing the levels of parasites. Moreover, cooking the fish to an internal temperature of 63 degrees Celsius or higher additionally reduced the risk of parasite infection. Another study from the Journal of Food Science in 2020 investigated the presence of Anisaki simplex, a type of roundworm found in pollock and its impact on human health. It was concluded that consuming raw or undercooked pollock contaminated with Anisaki simplex can lead to a medical condition called anisakiasis, which can cause symptoms such as abdominal pain, nausea, and vomiting. In conclusion, pollock can potentially have parasites that can have adverse effects on people's health. However, if cooked and frozen correctly, the risk of infection can be drastically minimized. It is essential to abide by food safety principles when handling and cooking pollock, as with all food types. Next, number five, anchovies. Anchovies are a widely consumed fish that can be found in many different types of cuisine. Unfortunately, they are prone to containing parasites and worms, which can have an adverse effect on human health if ingested. Anisakis worms are a common type of parasite found in anchovies and can cause a disease known as anisakiasis, which can lead to extreme abdominal pain, nausea, and vomiting. In rare cases, it can even be fatal. A recent study published in 2020 in the Journal of Food Science and Technology found that freezing anchovies at minus 20 degrees Celsius for at least 72 hours can kill any anisakis larvae that may be present. This indicates that freezing can be a good way to reduce the chances of anisakiasis when consuming anchovies. Another study published in Food Control in 2019 suggested that cooking anchovies at 60 degrees Celsius for at least 10 minutes can be a successful method for killing any parasites present in the fish. Therefore, it is possible to minimize the risk of contamination from anchovies by using proper handling, freezing, and cooking techniques. Next, number six. Herring. Herring is a widely eaten fish, but like other species, can be infected with worms and parasites that can be harmful to humans. Anisakis worms, found in herring, can trigger allergic reactions in some, resulting in abdominal pain, nausea, and vomiting. The Diphyllobothrium latum tapeworm, also present in herring, can grow up to 30 feet and cause diarrhea, abdominal pain, and weight loss. A 2019 parasitology research study that tested 100 herring samples and found 56% were infected with Anisakis worms, and that cooking the fish at 60 degrees Celsius for a minimum of one minute was successful in eliminating the worms. A 2020 Journal of Food Science and Technology study that concluded high-pressure processing was an effective way to treat herring infected with Diphyllobothrium latum tapeworm and high-pressure processing was also successful in killing the tapeworm and making the fish safe to eat. It is important to be mindful of the potential risks of eating fish contaminated with worms and parasites, and the best way to avoid this is by cooking herring properly and applying the proper methods of food storage and handling. Next. Number seven, catfish. It's essential to keep in mind that not all catfish have parasites or worms, and following the right cooking techniques can help eradicate them. Cooking catfish to an internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit can eradicate any germs or parasites that may be present. If consumed, however, worms or parasites in catfish can cause undesirable health effects such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. These worms could be nematodes, such as roundworms or cystodes, such as tapeworms. A study conducted in 2022 and published in the Journal of Aquatic Food Product Technology looked into the impact of freezing and thawing on parasites in catfish. The results demonstrated that freezing catfish at minus 18 degrees Celsius for 72 hours was effective in eliminating most parasites. However, a small fraction of nematodes and cestodes remained. It is suggested to be cautious when consuming catfish that has been frozen and thawed, as it could still contain some parasites.
In conclusion, although catfish can sometimes contain worms and parasites, good cooking and handling practices can help to stop contamination. Next, number eight, rainbow trout. The rainbow trout is a popular fish that is enjoyed for its fantastic flavor and nutritious properties. Unfortunately, like many other fish, these trout may be carrying worms or parasites that can be detrimental to the health of those who eat it. A particular type of tapeworm, Diphilobothrium, has been discovered in rainbow trout. A study published in the Journal of Food Protection in 2020 revealed that eating raw or undercooked rainbow trout that have been infected with this parasite may result in diphilobothriasis, which may lead to abdominal pain, diarrhea, and nausea. In conclusion, good hygiene practices and thorough cooking of rainbow trout can help to minimize the health risk associated with consuming the fish. Next, number nine, mackerel. Mackerel is a widely eaten fish that is packed with beneficial ingredients like omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin D, and other nutrients. However, like other seafood, mackerel may contain parasites that could cause illness. Anisakis is one such parasite that may lead to allergic reactions with symptoms such as abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, and anaphylaxis in some individuals. Furthermore, mackerel can also contain tapeworms and roundworms, which can cause digestive issues and other health issues. To minimize the chance of infection, it is important to cook and handle the fish correctly before eating it. A research paper from 2020 in the Journal of Food Protection showed that freezing mackerel at minus 20 degrees Celsius for a minimum of two days could eliminate an Isacus larvae and reduce the chance of infection. It was also suggested that mackerel should be cooked to an internal temperature of at least 63 degrees Celsius to further reduce the danger of infection. A separate study from 2020, one in the Journal of Food Science, studied how to best remove tapeworm larvae from mackerel. The results indicated that immersing mackerel in vinegar for at least one day was the most reliable method, followed by soaking in salt water for a period of 24 hours. Thus, even though mackerel is a healthy and delectable fish, it is vital to be conscious of the possible health problems that may result from worms and parasites. If you are able to safely handle and cook mackerel, this can lower the chance of an infection, leaving you to enjoy the delicious taste of this fish without any concern. Now we will see the final fish in our list, number 10, cod. Cod is well known for its mild taste and its wide range of cooking possibilities. Unfortunately, like other types of fish, it can contain worms and parasites which are potentially harmful to humans. Anisakis is a type of worm which can cause an allergic reaction called anisakiasis, with symptoms such as abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Diphilobothrium latum is another parasite which can grow up to 30 feet in length and can bring about diphilobothriasis, with symptoms such as abdominal pain, nausea, diarrhea, and weight loss. To reduce the chances of such health risks, it is important to ensure that code is cooked properly at a temperature of at least 145 degrees Fahrenheit, which is enough to kill most parasites and worms. In 2022, a study published in the journal Food Control examined the efficiency of different freezing techniques for eliminating parasites in code. The scientists identified that freezing at minus 20 degrees Celsius for a minimum of 72 hours was the most reliable way to eradicate both Anisakis and Diphilobothrium latum parasites. Ultimately, though code can be contaminated with worms and parasites that can be harmful if consumed, appropriate cooking and freezing methods can lessen the risk of infection. It is essential to correctly handle and prepare fish to guarantee the safety of the food you consume. That's it for our video about 10 fish that have worms and parasites. We hope you found it informative and eye-opening. Remember to always take precautions when handling and preparing seafood to avoid any potential health risks. And as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more interesting and informative content.